G'day friends, Avar here with tips on how to relocate an existing Daphne LaserDisc installation and how to make your setup as portable as possible. Depending on how you set up your ROMs in Daphne, there's a good chance that if you ever try to move them to a different folder or drive, they just won't work, even after you've changed the paths in your front end. Save me! Fortunately, the fix for this is very simple. First, go into your Daphne frame file folder. It should contain a text file for every game in your setup. These text files tell the Daphne emulator where the video and game files are for each game. As such, all we need to do is open each of the texts and change the path within. This can be done very quickly with the help of Notepad++. Press Ctrl A to select all of your text files, then right click and choose Edit with Notepad++. You can see that all of your ROM texts have been opened for editing. Press Ctrl F and click on the Replace tab. Here, we can change the absolute paths to relative paths like so. The dot dot backslash nomenclature tells your system to take one step back in the directory structure before looking for the file in the MPEG folder. Click Replace All in All Open Documents, and then click the Save All icon to fix all of your files at once. From now on, no matter where you move Daphne, your Laserdisc games will work right away. Space Ace, Defender of Justice, Truth, and the Planet Earth. What better way to celebrate this than by converting your Daphne Hyperspin install to a 100% 69 widescreen remaster with the download link provided in the description below. It's the perfect way to get pumped for James Baker's upcoming 1080p Daphne cinematic release, so keep an eye on his website and be sure to show him your support. As always, thanks for stopping by, and be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day, and remember to game on!